God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Faith of the Father's faith and prayer shall win all nations unto thee. And through the truth that comes from God, mankind shall then indeed be free. Faith of our Father's holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Faith of our fathers we will love, both friend and foe in all our strife and preach thee to as love knows how, by kindly deeds and virtuous life. Faith of our Father's holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Let us praise the Lord for his mercy and for the wonderful things he has done for men. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Let them say this, the Lord's redeemed, whom he redeemed from the hand of the foe and gathered from far off lands, from east and west, north and south. Some wandered in the desert in the wilderness, finding no way to a city they could dwell in. Hungry they were and thirsty. Their soul was fainting within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their need, and he rescued them from their distress, and he led them along the right way to reach a city they could dwell in. Let them thank the Lord for his love, for the wonders he does for men. For he satisfies the thirsty soul. He fills the hungry with good things. Some lay in darkness and in gloom, prisoners in misery and chains, having defied the words of God and spurned the counsels of the Most High. He crushed their spirit with toil. They stumbled. There was no one to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their need, and he rescued them from their distress. He led them forth from darkness and gloom and broke their chains to pieces. Let them thank the Lord for his goodness, for the wonders he does for men, for he bursts the gates of bronze and shatters the iron bars. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord for, for his, his mercy and, and for, for the wonderful things he has done for men. Men have seen the works of God, the marvels he has done. Some were sick on account of their sins and afflicted on account of their guilt. They had a loathing for every food. They came close to the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their need, and he rescued them from their distress. He sent forth his word to heal them, and saved their life from the grave. Let them thank the Lord for his love, for the wonders he does for men. Let them offer a sacrifice of thanks, and tell of his deeds with rejoicing. Some sailed to the sea in ships, to trade on the mighty waters. These men have seen the Lord's deeds, the wonders he does in the deep. For he spoke, he summoned the gale, raising up the waves of the sea, tossed up to heaven, then into the deep, 
Their soul melted away in their distress. They staggered, reeled like drunken men, for all their skill was gone. Then they cried to the Lord in their need, and he rescued them from their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper. All the waves of the sea were hushed. They rejoiced because of the calm, and he led them to the haven they desired. Let them thank the Lord for his love, the wonders he does for men. Let them exalt him in the gathering of the people, and praise him in the meeting of all the elders. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Men have seen the The works works of God, God, the the marvels he has done. Those who love the Lord will see and rejoice. They will understand his loving kindness. He changes streams into a desert, springs of water into thirsty ground, fruitful land into a salty waste for the wickedness of those who live there. But he changes desert into streams, thirsty ground into springs of water. There he settles the hungry, and they build a city to dwell in. They sow fields and plant their vines. These yield crops for the harvest. He blesses them. They grow in numbers. He does not let their herds decrease. He pours contempt upon princes, makes them wander in trackless wastes. They diminish, are reduced to nothing by oppression, evil, and sorrow. But he raises the needy from distress, makes families numerous as a flock. The upright see it and rejoice, but all who do wrong are silenced. Whoever is wise, let him heed these things and consider the love of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Those who love the Lord will see and rejoice. They They will will understand his loving kindness. Your truth, O God, is high as the clouds. Lord, your goodness is deep as the ocean. From the Book of Ecclesiastes Light is sweet and it is pleasant for the eyes to see the sun. However many years a man may live, let him, as he enjoys them all, remember that the days of darkness will be many. All that is to come is vanity. Rejoice, O young man, while you are young, and let your heart be glad in the days of your youth. Follow the ways of your heart, the vision of your eyes. Yet understand that as regards all this, God will bring you to judgment. Ward off grief from your heart and put away trouble from your presence, though the dawn of youth is fleeting. Remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the evil days come and the year's approach of which you will say, I have no pleasure in them. Before the sun is darkened, and the light, and the moon, and the stars, while the clouds return after the rain, when the guardians of the house tremble, and the strong men are bent, and the grinders are idle because they are few, and they who look through the windows grow blind, when the doors to the street are shut and the sound of the mill is low, when one waits for the chirp of a bird, but all the daughters of song are suppressed, and one fears heights and perils in the street, when the almond tree blooms and the locust grows sluggish and the caper berry is without effect, because man goes to his lasting home, and mourners go about the streets. Before the silver cord is snapped, and the golden bowl is broken, 
and the pitcher is shattered at the spring, and the broken pulley falls into the well, and the dust returns to the earth as it once was, and the life breath returns to God who gave it. Vanity of vanity, says Kohelet, all things are vanity. Besides being wise, Kohelet taught the people knowledge and weighed, scrutinized, and arranged many proverbs. Koheleth sought to find pleasing sayings and to write down true sayings with precision. The sayings of the wise are like goads, like fixed spikes are the topics given by one collector. As to more than these, my son, beware. Of the making of many books there is no end, and in much study there is weariness for the flesh. The last word when all is heard, fear God and keep his commandments, for this is man's all, because God will bring to judgment every work with all its hidden qualities, whether good or bad. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and to this very day I proclaim your marvelous works. Do not abandon me in my old age. Your presence fills me with joy, and everlasting pleasures are at your right hand. Do not abandon me in my old age. From a commentary on Ecclesiastes by St. Gregory of Agrigentum, Bishop. In the words of Ecclesiastes, light itself is delightful, and it is a great boon for the eye to have sight of the sun. Devoid of light, the world would be without beauty and life would be lifeless. That was why Moses, who saw God, said in anticipation, and God saw the light and said that it was good. To reflect on the true and eternal light is even more fitting for us. This light is Christ, who enlightens every man who comes into the world, the Savior and Redeemer of the world. He is the one who became man and sank to the very depths of the human condition. As David said, sing to God a hymn to his name. Make a highway for him who rises to the west. His name is the Lord. Rejoice before him. This light he called delightful and foretold that it would be good to see the Son of Glory. In the days of his incarnation, he said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will possess the light of life. On another occasion, he said, This is the judgment. The light has come into the world. Sunlight, then, is a symbol. What we see with our eyes foretells the coming of the Son of Justice. He was a most delightful light for those who were worthy to be instructed by him personally. He was also a radiance to those who saw him with their bodily eyes when he lived on earth as a man among men. It was not just any man they saw, for he was true God. He made the blind see, the lame walk, and the deaf hear. He cleansed the lepers, and by a simple command he raised the dead back to life. Now it is our supreme delight to behold him and contemplate his divine splendor with the eyes of our spirit. When we participate in and associate with that beauty, we are enlightened and adorned, and this is our delight. We take delight in being saturated with the sweetness of the spirit, in being clothed in holiness, in achieving wisdom. Finally, we are filled with the joy that comes from God and endures through all the days of our earthly life. In the wise words of Ecclesiastes, a man may live for many years, but he will experience happiness throughout his days. For all who gaze upon the Son of Justice, he is their supreme delight. David spoke of them. Let them be joyful before God and be jubilant with joy. Indeed, he even said, Rejoice in the Lord, you who are just, for praise befits those who are upright. Join me in glorifying God. Let us praise his name together. <laughs> 
Look to him and be radiant with joy. May your faces never be ashamed. God made us worthy to share the lot of his saints in light. He has delivered us from the power of darkness. Look to him and be radiant with joy. May your faces never be ashamed. Let us pray. Father, keep before us the wisdom and love you have revealed in your Son. Help us to be like him in word and deed, for he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.